Quilters, it's Pam from AccuQuilt. I am so excited today to share with you that we now have a free embroidery download for our Sunbonnet Sue dye. Isn't that fantastic? You know, Sunbonnet Sue is one of those classic dyes that we've had around for a long time. It's a great, fun project, really easy to do. So what I have done already is I have cut out my Sunbonnet Sue pieces using our Sunbonnet Sue dye. And you'll notice that I've already had that fusible already on the back. So when I put it on the die, it cut the fabric and the fusible. So I have my embroidery machine all set up and I'm just gonna start stitching. And keep in mind that Sunbonnet Sue is a pattern that you'll have to layer your pieces. So bring your patience, make sure you do it in the correct order, make sure you're cutting it out and embroidering it in the correct direction. It's kind of one of those directional dies. So I'm gonna give it a little start. So my machine is actually gonna put a placement stitch down so I know exactly which piece I need to put in. Now, for those of you who already own our Sunbonnet Sue, uh, you can also access that free downloadable embroidery. All right, so right now she's gonna do her little feet. Okay, and I'm gonna move my pieces over here so that I don't iron on them. All right, so now I'm just gonna take her feet. I'm gonna make sure I have that fusible off the back of her little feet. And I'm gonna set it right here. Now quilters, you'll notice that we have a pink thread that we're gonna use for our placement thread. Um, that's so that you can see it on camera. You want, want to make sure you have thread that matches whatever Sunbonnet Sue is. So then I'm gonna take my little iron now you just wanna press it down. You don't wanna be stretching the fabric. You don't wanna be ironing too hard. You just wanna set it right in here. Give it a little iron. All right. Then what's gonna happen is you're gonna put the back into your embroidery machine. <clears throat> and now it's gonna stitch the blanket stitch around it. So Pultus, you know that I'm gonna use our blanket stitch. The download has three different stitches. It has a blanket stitch, a motif stitch, which is kind of fun, and then a satin stitch. All right, we're ready for our next piece. So now it's gonna put the placement stitch for my next piece of Sunbonnet Sue. So quilters, why my machine is doing the work, I can get all of my other projects ready, my pieces together, so that I'm really efficient while I'm sitting here using my embroidery machine. All right, now we've put down our placement stitch for her little skirt. So quilters, you're gonna notice something right here. Since this is a layered die in for embroidery, right here at the top of her little feet, there isn't any embroidery done there. There's no blanket stitch. The reason is if they did a blanket stitch there when you put on her little skirt, you would see it underneath and we don't want it to show. So I'm gonna take her little skirt. Again, I have that pre-fused fabric already done. And I'm gonna put it right here in that placement stitch. That makes it so easy with that placement stitch. All right, then I'm gonna take her, my little iron. Remember quilters, you don't wanna press this down. You don't wanna smush it. You don't wanna stretch the fabric. You just wanna give it a little bit of an iron so that that fusible sticks. And when we go to embroider the edges are nice and crisp. Okay. All right, do this one little part right here. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna put her back in the hoop and let the machine do the embroidery stitch. So remember quilters, the embroidery file comes with three different stitches. You can do the blanket stitch, the motif stitch, and that satin stitch. 
Also, if you're looking for some free patterns, you can find those at AccuQuilt.com in the search engine. Just put in Sunbonnet Sue. All right, we're coming to the end. All right, so it stopped so that I can now do my placement stitch for the next piece. Next, it's gonna do her little hand. All right. So I'm gonna lay it down here and show you. So again, it put that little placement stitch for her hand. So I'm gonna just put this little fabric right here. Take my iron. Just make sure that it sets down. Especially on those little tiny pieces, you wanna make sure that that piece is sticking with the fusible. All right, put it back in my machine and just lickety split. It is going to stitch around that. You know, Sunbonnet Sue is a great way to use up your stash or even your scraps of fabric. Think of all the fun patterns that you can put together with your stash. All right, so now it is stitched around her little hand. So I'm gonna have the placement stitch for the rest of her arm. Quilters, remember that you can cut up to four layers of cotton with fusible on the back every time you cut with our Go Fabric dies. Okay. Take it out. Look, she's coming right together. So now I'm gonna get her little arm. Make sure you take off that fusible. Now you look, quilters, it didn't stitch on the top of her hand here with that blanket stitch because it's that layering die, but it allows the placement stitch to come over the top of it so that there isn't a raw edge showing. So you wanna make sure you put the arm on the placement stitch. Isn't it great how clean and beautiful those tiny little pieces are with the embroidery? Okay. All right, we'll stick her back in. I love the blanket stitch. It's one of those classic stitches. All right, we're almost done. So now we've done the blanket stitch around her arm and the last piece we have to do is her little bonnet. So we'll put down a placement stitch
All right, so you'll notice now, quilters, when the machine stopped right here, it didn't do that blanket stitch on the top of her skirt. Again, that layering process, so it works out perfectly. So now I've taken the fusible off the back of her little bonnet. All right, put that little placement stitch shows me exactly where to put it. Take my iron. I like these little handle irons like this. They're fast and really easy to use. All right. All right, so we're ready for our last stitching. So excited for you to see how perfect this turned out. All right, ta da! So, look how perfect our stitching is around our Sunbonnet Sue. So, not only have we cut it perfectly, but the embroidery files have allowed us to embroider around it. So, if you're looking to purchase the Sunbonnet Sue, you can find it from your local signature dealer. You can also find it at AccuQuilt.com. And make sure you check out that free embroidery download from AccuQuilt.com. We'd love to see your finished Sunbonnet Sues. You can upload those to AccuQuilt.com and share them with other quilters. Be sure and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. <music>